All right, folks, we're hooked up to our jumper box. Let's see if we can get this bike to fire. Here we go, all or nothing. Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to Ed Gasket. Sorry I'm not dressed in my normal costume, but today we're pressed for time, headed straight to the auto auction. We gotta get there before five o'clock so we can take delivery on our new project. Alright everybody, we're just about here. Welcome to Copart, Philadelphia. For those of you taking notes, we are nowhere near Philadelphia. Alright everybody, we're here at Copart. Let's get our mask on, go inside. We're late. Apparently they don't want you filming in here, so here's the custom Copart floor decal. All right, we got our paperwork. Let's go get this thing loaded up. So guys, we're in the parking lot at Copart. We're in an area called the bullpen. I'm not really sure what it means. I've never been here, and I imagine you've never been here either unless you're interested in buying completely destroyed or total vehicles. Everybody's driving around with a vehicle on the front of their fork. I literally couldn't be any more in the way. Everybody here is in a tow truck except for me. I'm the only guy here not smoking a cigarette. I'm also the only guy here wearing a shirt and tie but at least that U-joint's fixed. This is crazy, you gotta see this. Talk about a unique skill set. It's gonna be interesting if they bring it out on that sized forklift. You'll see what I mean when it gets here. All right guys, here it comes on the forklift. Wait till you see this thing. Nothing like driving around the yard with a bike dangling from your forklift. This is your first time? Try not to scratch it now. My man landed it right on the kickstand. Although he crushed my life preserver. <laughs> All good, man. Thanks, man. Copart, thanks for having us. We are all loaded up and strapped. It's time to get this thing home, unload it, show you what we have. And it fell over in the truck bed. Whoops. You know what I always say, if you're gonna take delivery on a total vehicle, nearly irreparable and probably a waste of money, you gotta dress the part. All right, I gotta get something off my chest. Is it weird that part of me wanted to see that bike fall? It's like messed up, right? Am I the only one that feels that way? All right guys, we're off the truck and in the workshop with our latest build. So that means it's officially time to introduce to you the newest project in the Ed Gasket Garage. This is a 2018 Honda Grom that was picked up at a Copart auto auction near Philadelphia after Geico Insurance totaled the bike after an accident. So the bike looks like it fell on its left side. You can see the front end's pretty smashed. The handlebars are super bent. The fairings are scratched here, here, and here. The seat's ripped. The exhaust is a little beat up. 
and the rear end looks a little twisted. Now the bike does come with some exciting upgrades like these anodized brake levers, a cheap eBay exhaust, a rear fender delete, an LED taillight, and a K&N intake. And without a doubt, my favorite upgrade, this bent key. Now this machine was purchased on Copart, which is an online auto auction that sells totaled machines of all shapes and sizes. This bike was listed as a running and driving machine, so what do you say we try and get this thing to fire up before we take it all apart and figure out what else is damaged? Guys, if you've ever worked on a motorcycle before, it is a challenge to work on a machine that's leaning on its side on the kickstand, so before we get going with trying to get this thing running, let's find a way to sit it up straight so we can work on it a little bit easier. Now before we wash this thing and get it disassembled to figure out what exactly is broken on this machine, let's see if we can get it started. It's been sitting since July in the auction lot and it just seems that every car and truck that comes from the auction has a dead battery. We'll get underneath this seat and see about getting a jump box hooked up to the battery. All right, let's get some juice to this battery and see if we can get some power through to that starter. Anytime you do something like this, just make sure there's oil in the bike, which I've already done. All right, folks, we're hooked up to our jumper box. Let's see if we can get this bike to fire. All right, lights go on, that's a good sign. All right, that's the fuel pump you hear. All right, here we go, all or nothing. Three, two, one. Try again. Nice. It's always nice when your project starts before you even begin teardown. This way we know the motor's totally fine and we can focus on all the broken pieces that ultimately totaled out this motorcycle. Now before we get into tearing this thing down, let's take it outside for a wash. All right guys, the bike is super clean, so what do you say we start dismantling this thing piece by piece so we can make a long list of all the parts we're gonna need to bring this thing back to like new condition.
So you can see we've essentially dismantled the front and rear end of this motorcycle, uncovering all the broken pieces that forced Geico into totaling this machine. Now we can take our long list, get on the internet, and order everything we need to make this bike whole again. Now that of course isn't going to include all the custom and aftermarket parts we're going to put on this bike to make it special and to make it our own. Guys, we have a long list of parts to order for this machine in order to make it whole again, so that's an effective end of today's video. Now if you enjoyed this build so far and you want to watch the rest of it unfold, please subscribe to our channel. Now on your way out, hit that thumbs up button and leave some constructive criticism down below in the comments section. Now if you need us between now and our next video featuring this 2018 Honda Grom, we'll be in the garage.